the goal um, you know, was and is going to continue to be to, to win a championship. Grizzlies executive vice president of basketball operations and general manager Zach Kleiman's goal is no different from the goal he set at the end of the 2020-21 NBA season. But when it comes to producing results, this year's Memphis Grizzlies team changed a lot. Boy, has this team responded. From falling to Portland in the 2020 play-in game, followed by just barely escaping a sweep against Utah in the first round of the 2021 playoffs, to now, falling just two games short of a Western Conference Finals berth. Where some fans may not have seen this amount of success happening so soon for the Memphis Grizzlies, well, Jaron Jackson Jr., he did. I thought we were going to be this good. Uh, we just talked about it too much. We wanted it more than you could imagine. And despite their youth, leadership and accountability plays a big part. Headed into the offseason, Desmond Bain said he's already planning to help teammates like rookie Zaire Williams take his game to the next level. Whether he like it, I'll be dragging him around, um, making sure that we that we get our work in, and, and I'm sure Katie will be there with us. Because of leaders like Bain, along with the closeness of the team on and off the court, Jaron and many other players are hoping that the front office can find a way to keep this roster together. It's a business, but at the end of the day, when you can find times for it to get past that and you can really develop into something special, like you got to cherish that and keep it under control. Especially with players like big man Steven Adams, turning what used to be a hostile environment for him here in Memphis into one that became a second home, embracing his new Memphis-themed nickname. Apparently they call me Aquamane now, which is sick, yeah, so <laughs> that's sick. But with the possibility of a Supermax contract in talks for Ja, well over $200 million, keeping this roster together might be a test. But although next year's roster is up in the air, the respect that Memphis has earned nationally, well, that has been solidified. Now we are at a time where, you know, we're pretty much, you know, one of the best teams in the league. Um, and a lot of people believe that and a lot of people, you know, actually see, you know, what, what's going on in Memphis now and, you know, how bright the future is for us. As Memphis fans are watching, waiting and hoping the Grizzlies get a chance to run it back. At FedEx Forum, I'm Aaron Wilson reporting.